Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to today's video. Um, we're in a car, Jason's driving, and it's Thursday. So you're probably wondering what we're doing. We got the, the bikes in the back and we're heading over to Skiff Mountain. And you're probably wondering why can't you just ride there? Well, we're doing an outdoor workout today. And we, this is going to be a first time doing outdoor workout. Usually we ride indoors. We do typically do our workouts indoors on Zwift. Uh, and today it's going to be outdoors because one, we're actually finished with our training and we want to do something fun. I think it's fun. <laughs> and two, we, since we, you know, a lot of these events are outdoors and we might as well do them outdoors. And so I think we have a quiet, we found a quiet spot. Uh, and I'll tell you guys more a little bit more about it uh, when we get there So just got here um, to our location. We're at Skiff Mountain and uh, we chose this place because there's a great flat road for when we do sprints and then there's also the, uh, there's a 0.4 mile climb which we will be doing um, some zone 5 efforts. Um, so for the workout today guys we are doing three by fives so three by five minutes at zone five or we call the map map efforts and then um, we're going to get enough recovery in between and then we're going to do some sprints and the sprints will be uh, five by 30 seconds and that would be at zone seven or above so whatever the neuromuscular uh, power is for that um, so yeah we're going to do that uh, today and I'll show you guys what the road looks like uh, for the sprint. I know there's a turn but I think we it's further down here so you could see from behind me this nice flat kind of road and then there's a turn. Um, there is some more road on the other side so that's a little bit more straighter but um, pretty quiet road. Lots of birds. Uh, they actually have I thought that they had a trail here, um, but I think they might have boarded it up. Um, so no trail. I, right now it's cloudy, uh, a little on the humid side. Um, it's not too humid, so hopefully the sun will peek through. Um, actually, I wouldn't mind it being cloudy because that way we have, um, it's kind of a cooling effect. Oh, there's a bird there now. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to change and then we're going to uh, get started with a warm-up. So it's turning out to be a pretty nice day up here. Um, once I got on the bike, a little more comfortable because, you know, you get the breeze and now the sun's out. Um, yeah, we have, let's see, a 10 minute uh, warm-up and then we're gonna get started with our first interval. Yes, pretty exciting. Uh, looking forward to trying this workout outdoors.
not going to be good because it's going to be a turn.
I stopped too soon. I thought it said, when I saw easy, I thought it was easy already. Alright guys, last one. We are, uh, oh, the sun glare. We are back from the workout. Um, you guys probably saw the results of that. Yeah, I think I, I thought I did really well on the first interval of the map efforts. The goal was to do 218, which was, which is my zone five. Um, and I ended up averaging 219 for that first interval. And then it dropped the second, uh, the last two intervals. Um, to 203 and 205 and I think I know what the problem was I didn't go hard enough on the climb and because the climb wasn't a full five minute long climb it flattened out and there was some downhill and so I lost some power on that so what I should have really done is uh, go hard up on the climb so that um, when my power does drop on the flats and downhill then or the slight downhill then my total average power uh, would have been slightly around uh, 218. So kind of bummed about that. The um, sprints, yeah, it was really hard to get the form right. Um, I just felt like I was, I wasn't 
really 100% confident in my form and I wasn't sure if I was doing it correctly and there was a point where my gearing was too low and so going downhill it was kind of hard to do a sprint when your your gearing is, so, is low so it's finding that right gear to um, kind of power through and get off the saddle um, so my average I think my my highest average uh, power for that interval was 324 um, my max power was 418 and I was able to do on the bike erg at home I was able to do 518 as my max power so I got a lot of work to do I think I um, set myself a lofty goal there uh, with the sprints but learned my lesson and um, yeah no I'm just gonna have to work on that and I was just saying to Jason how much I really um, do like this area where we chose to do our workout because um, you know the roads are so quiet and anyway um, here is Jason yeah that was really fun uh, first outdoor workout and a nice combination of zone 5 intervals and um, kind of max power sprints at the end 30 second sprints um, did pretty well on the the three by five minute uh, hill climbs I tried to go as hard as I could up the climb knowing that my power was going to drop toward the end that way my average power would be where I wanted it to be um, was pretty successful with that uh, for those three by five minute efforts didn't get as high of a power on the sprints as I hoped to but um, it was you know it was really awkward sprinting on a flat surface in the drops it's really the first time that we had done that going like truly all out on a um, you know on a a flat surface in the drops off the saddle it's just a it's a weird feeling when you're not used to it you know having your body horizontal like that while you're trying to pedal as hard as you can um, I guess we're more used to going all out on a climb uh, so it's I think it's just a matter of you know using different muscles for that motion um, on the flat surface and we just have to to uh, keep practicing it and get used to it uh, and uh, it still that was a a fun workout overall and um, went by pretty fast even though it was over an hour long um, I guess time flies when you're having fun and that was really fun uh, so we're just going to um, get changed up here and I think we're going to make a stop at the uh, Kent coffee and chocolate shop get a little refreshment and uh, it's uh, a good date day for us we're here at uh Kent Coffee and Chocolate Company. Um, they have smoothies, so I got Nutty Green Smoothie, which has, what was it, banana, yogurt, almond, and Jason, what did you get? Uh, banana, banana berry yogurt. I think it just has yogurt, uh, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and banana. Nice mm. and refreshing. Yes. Uh, nice and refreshing after our workout and so we're gonna down this I'm almost halfway finished this is delicious um, this is in Kent Connecticut if anyone's interested in stopping here we would have wanted to go inside um, but it looks like they only have the drive-thru open and uh, yeah it's a bummer because I wanted to try what I to see what else they had um, but for, for me, it's probably a good thing that we weren't able to go in because I would have ended up probably getting an ice cream sundae and or uh, a dessert. all kinds of different goodies. Mm. So this is a nice, you know, healthier recovery Ooh. drink. So it's good. I know. I'm almost finished with mine now. I wish I had a medium, but no, I think this is enough. Um, yeah, super healthy. Um, I might want to try considering making this at home. I want to see what else they had. It said green, so I think it might be... Probably spinach. Yeah, spinach or something in here, but it's delicious. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to head back home and figure out what we're going to do with the rest of our day now. All right, guys. Um, we'll catch you tomorrow. Tomorrow.